today. And today we're going to have a game of Spitting Image on the Commodore Amiga. Now this is a game I used to have back in the day on the Amstrad CPC 464. And I thought it was a really good game. So what this is, is a one-on-one -on -one beat em up game. Yeah, um, I remember the idea on the CPC. It was a massive box, a massive, massive plastic box. It looked really quite good. And the game was, was pretty good too not supposed to be taken very seriously right you know don't think like IK plus or Street Fighter 2 you know it's not supposed to be taken that seriously it's a bit of fun right so you get a little bit of text coming up here you know, just telling you about so you can work, but you can't skip that right so this is a game for one or two players um, so what have you got to do first, you can either select one or two, so it's just me so I select one, first of all you've got to choose your opponent, that's what you've got to do first, for some reason, I don't know what this all is, you can get this on the 8 bit versions, um, so who we're going to choose, right, I've reviewed the Commodore 64 version just before this, and I chose Maggie and um, Gorbachev. So this occasion we're going to choose who's, who's the bad. Let's choose who's the bad. Don't know who he is. Is that Yasser Arafat? We'll see Margaret Thatcher, Mikhail Gorbachev, the Queen, she's the commentator, the Pope. Who the fuck's that? And obviously Ronald Reagan. So we're going to choose Ronald Reagan. Alright, so we get the theme tune to spit an image. Now, a lot of po probably a lot of people from around the world probably won't know what Spitting Image is. It was a UK thing. It was on TV, ITV. I think it was Sundays about was it ten o'clock? Was it nine o'clock? I can't remember. I think it could have been ten o'clock. Ran for half hour. Um, Sundays on ITV. <laughs> So if you call up zero, you get a psychic, and they will fire a little weapon. Hang on, what happened? Two second. Did I win? Who won that? What's Ronald Reagan got a fucking clown outfit on? <laughs> so basically, what the show was about? It was latex puppets. And they just basically took the piss out of um, celebrities and politicians. Now I do, I, it can't, I think it started in 1984 and ran all the way up to 1996, the television programme. The 80s ones was the best ones. It did start to go downhill. And now it's come back in 2000, 2020. Fucking hell. Now I like the graphics. But I don't know... Right. Oh, fucking hell. Fifth call, so it must be... So this must be the last one. Where's the energy? Oh, right, I see. Some reason every time I hit zero, it, it takes a snapshot. <laughs> That's how I got the, um, the recorder set up. Right. Hang on, so. Hang on, that was quick. Alright, let's have another go then. So let's choose. Let's be Maggie. No! No, 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 I should have chose. Because you can't deselect. So she's my enemy. Right, she was an enemy to the country anyway if you think about it. Let's be 
the Pope. Let's be the Pope. <laughs> the Pope takes on Maggie Thatcher. I don't know if it's as good as the Amstrad version. <laughs> I think they played a bit better. Graphics look good. I like the graphics. Come here, you fucking bitch. Fuck it now. Yeah, so you can hear the camera going. Ch -ch -ch. That's me taking the screen. That's the that's the button it's set for taking the screenshot on Bandicap, unfortunately. And that's the key I've got to use to use my sidekick. I'm getting all screenshots up the side of my up on the screen. <laughs> so we're out, outside number ten. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. I mean. The it works, it works okay, but I don't know if Right, okay. It does go quickly on this. Right, let's choose... I'll pull the chuff, but... Okay, let's be... Let's be Thatcher. I'll make this time the last go. But they do go quite quick on this. I don't bother. <laughs> well, I mean, graphics do look good. You've got, always got different backgrounds. <laughs> but you're not going to appreciate this game unless you know anything about spitting image the TV show you're, you're probably gonna if you don't know nothing about the TV show you're probably gonna think what the fuck's going on what's this come on come on Yeah, I like the crack. It's, it's, it's not bad on the on the Amiga. It looks good. You know, once you get used to it, it it's it's fine. But just don't expect to be IK Plus or a good fight, like a proper fighting game. It's not supposed to be taken seriously. It's just a bit of fun. Here we go. What the fuck? I should really use my sidekick, but the problem is I'm using a PlayStation styled controller and it's really difficult to take my hands off the controller. Could have mapped it, but didn't think of that. Oh well, it's only a review. And that's it, I think I lost again. I'm not even making it to the ice score table. Yeah, but it's it's not bad on the Amiga, it's not bad. I think I did prefer the Amstrad CPC version though. No. I think that's more down to nostalgia because I had that version. But it doesn't play too badly. It's not fantastic or anything like that. Um it's okay, it's Probably be more fun if you're playing two players. 
Um, but as I said before, you probably ain't going to get it unless you've watched Spitting Image. So anybody probably outside the UK probably ain't going to get this game. But as I, as I explained, it, it is based on a television program taking the piss out of celebrities and politicians all around the world. <laughs> it was a good program. And it's a good guy, you know, it's not bad on the Amiga. Good graphics, it's fine. That's the job. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.